Hello, this is Sister Lisa again. We're praying with purpose and power. Now, I said I was going to be talking about Christian music, but I'm also going to be talking more about how to discern music as well, because it's important to have the gift of discernment even now, especially when it comes to music, movies, anything that you enjoy doing and seeing, you have to have the gift of discernment. Now, in terms of Christian music or any music that's positive in nature, it should always have you meditating or thinking on things that are, you know, positive, good, uplifting, nothing negative, nothing depressing, nothing bringing you low or nothing, you know, entertaining your flesh. Like the last video, you know, nothing that have you doing some sip sips or uh, uh, talking to Johnny boy or Susie girl, you know, uh, things that uh, have you doing stuff you don't have no business doing. That's the type of music you need to avoid. Now, in my last video, I'll talk more about, you know, the demonic influences in music, what music is doing even now so, and what the enemy is releasing through music. Now, I'm going to be coming from Philippians, very familiar your scripture, Philippians 4, verse 8, and it says, Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whosoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things of a good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. Let me break down the first one. Whatsoever things are true. If you tell me, read, listen to sing, listen to songs, what was me? I will never have it. He broke my heart. I'm for long. You know, unbreak my heart. All that stuff. That's not true. If you get a broken heart, you can love again. You know, it's always like, what was me? I will never live again. I cannot be without you. I cannot breathe without you. That's a devil is a lie. You can't live without Jesus. <laughs> so that's the truth. You know, what's if things are honest? You know, you know, we're not listening to songs that they they lie, they cheat, they did me wrong, backstab us, you know, they smile in your face. You know, you know good well. We're not listening to songs that make you think about people backstabbing, lying, cheating, stealing. That's not honesty. So you need to listen to music that's, you know, talking about honesty, being right, doing right, you know. Um, I remember I used to like the song I just got, you know, living my life like it's golden. Look, I'm golden. <laughs> uh, you know, that's all positive. I'm living like, you know, you know, prosperous, blessed. You know, I'm not listening to living like, huh, like I'm, I'm broke down, tore down, you know, things like that. Now, the next part of that verse, what's the ever things that are just, you know, that are right, you know, um, songs, you know, that uplift you. Because I know back in my day, they actually had, when I used to listen to a lot of hip hop rap, they did have some positive rap songs. You know, that's when you had all kind of genres of music when it came to rap. You had the political hip, you know, rap, you know, like Public Enemy. Then you had the Cutie Pies, the Kid Plays, the Kwame's, you know, and then you had the hardcore ones like NWA and such. But, you know, I always strayed to the ones that were, you know, just, they were for right, for doing right, going to school. You got to live and learn, you know, stuff like that you know, uh, keep you motivated to do what's right and live right, right? And then the next one is what's over things that are pure. Now, you know you shouldn't be listening to that uh, uh, love you down song. You know, <laughs> you know, ma'am. You know, and no, sir. You know, things that keep your mind pure, keep your thoughts pure. You should be listening to no type of music that lets you have some um, impure thoughts. Okay. And then you wonder why you dialing numbers. No, ma'am, and no, sir. So, you know, when it comes to music, it has to be something pure. You know, Christian music, you know, it uplifts, you know, um, it brings forth, you know, goodness. It makes you think about God. It gives you positive, keep you motivated because that mind be thinking stuff. And that's why music is so powerful, because if you listen to the wrong song, you're going to start feeling just as depressed as the song, you know. Um, and then what sort of things are lovely? Nice, being nice to people, doing right, giving back. You know, songs like that is uplifting. You know, that's kind of like I know I told you about that song, Happy. I used to like that Pharrell Williams song. It made me feel happy because I'm happy. You know, I'm joyful. You know, it wasn't me, I'm mad. I'm ready, you know, you know, bust the windows out your car. 
that is not gonna make you think another right. It's gonna make you think about right, right, and Bubba and Shaquita did you wrong, and then you wanna slice tires. You know, listen to songs like that. Just make you mad, you know. You know, hell have no fear with women scoring songs, you know, <laughs> things like that. And the last one, what sort of things of a good report, you know, things that bring forth, you know, goodness, you know, good news, you know, great news, great things, blessings, you know, prosperity. That's why it's important to, you know, always feed your mind, feed your spirit with good songs, Christian songs, holy songs, you know, songs that promote Christ, songs that promote Jesus, songs that promote goodness, you know, songs that promote righteousness, songs that promote holiness, songs that promote prosperity, abundance, riches, wealth, you know, um, the right way, you know, not get money, you know, or, uh, you know, doing whatever, you know, like the other rappers do, you know, to get money, you know, lie, steal, chill, you know, all that stuff. That's not the way to get wealth. But, you know, it says if there be any virtue, think on these things. And see, music gets into your head. And then you start listening to the lyrics. And then you start to think whatever them lyrics are. You start to say whatever them lyrics are. You know, that's why it's important even as parents with children. They can't be listening to every song. Because it's getting inside their spirit. And you wonder why they are angry, mad, and raging. Or they want to drop it like it's hot and holy because they've been listening to Cardi B and such. You know, uh, no. <laughs> That's not promoting things. It's not getting their mind. And plus, they're growing. So it's important, you know, especially young kids and young people, that we're not listening to all that stuff because it's not edifying. And what goes in is going to come out, whichever way. So my last video will be about, you know, demonic influences in music because there's plenty and even more so now. You know, music is not created, you know, the way it used to, you know, and it's important to be able to discern the music this time and to cover your ear gate and your ear gates and all your eye gates, all of it in this time. So keep praying with purpose and power. Talk to you later. Bye bye.